On January 29, 2025, about 8.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, a Sikorsky UH-60 Lima helicopter operated by the United States Army and a PSA Airlines CRJ-700 collided in flight approximately one-half mile southeast of Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, or DCA. The two pilots, two flight attendants, and 60 passengers on board the airplane and all three crew members on board the helicopter were fatally injured. The military helicopter flight originated from Davison Army Airfield, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. The flight was an annual evaluation for the pilot with the use of night vision goggles. The airplane was operated by PSA Airlines, doing business as American Airlines Flight 5342, a scheduled domestic passenger flight under Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Part 121, from Wichita, Kansas to Washington, D.C. Night visual meteorological conditions prevailed at the time of the accident. In the radio communications, the accident airplane was using call sign Blue Streak 5342, and the Army helicopter was using call sign Pat 25. The Federal Aviation Administration provides charts that specify helicopter routes to facilitate operations in high traffic areas. The helicopter routes have no defined lateral boundaries, but they do have maximum altitude limits. The helicopter routes are depicted by a blue line on the Google Earth image. Helicopter Route 1's western section begins in Cabin John, Maryland, and follows the Potomac River southeast to Washington, D.C., through the Tidal Basin and the Washington Channel to Haines Point, and then turns east along the Anacostia River. At the time of the accident, Helicopter Route 4 intercepted Route 1 at Haines Point and continued south along the Potomac River's eastern shore past DCA and the Wilson Bridge. North of Chain Bridge, the maximum altitude is 1,300 feet. Between Chain Bridge and Key Bridge, the maximum altitude is 700 feet. Between Key Bridge and Memorial Bridge, the maximum altitude is 300 feet, and south of Memorial Bridge to the Wilson Bridge, the maximum altitude is 200 feet. At 8.33 p.m., 15 minutes before the collision, Pat 25 requested permission to travel from Cabin John along Helicopter Route 1 to Helicopter Route 4 to Davison Army Airfield. The DCA local controller approved the request. There was no communication between Pat 25 and the DCA local controller for 12 minutes. At 8.39 p.m., nine minutes before the collision, Flight 5342 was cleared for the Mount Vernon Visual Runway 1 approach to DCA by Potomac Terminal Radar Approach Control. Select in-cockpit communications between the instructor and the pilot in PAT-25, primarily about altitude, will be shown on a black background in the animation. At 8.43 p.m., five minutes before the collision, Flight 5342 was handed off to the DCA 
power local controller. The local controller asks the crew of Flight 5342 if they could switch their approach from Runway 1 to Runway 33. Bush 5342, Washington Tower, 1 star, 320 plus 25. Can you take Runway 33? The crew accepted the change and they were cleared to land on Runway 33. This magnified satellite photograph shows the locations of Runway 1 and Runway 33 at DCA. Yeah, we can do uh, 33 for Blue Chief 342. Blue for 342 at the Wilson Bridge Tank. Change the start for Runway 33, Runway 33, Chris Land. Change Runway 33, uh, Runway 33, Blue Chief 342. There was no further communication between the local controller and the crew of Flight 5342 before the collision. The following animation shows the positions and altitudes of the accident aircraft for the final three minutes before the collision. An altitude profile view of the two accident aircraft is also displayed. Audio of the air traffic control communications will be played during the animation. The local controller was operating on two channels. While all aircraft could hear the local controller, helicopter crews could only hear radio transmissions from other helicopters, and airplane crews could only hear transmissions from other airplanes. Only communications between the local controller and PAT-25 will be shown in text on the screen. The controller twice advised the crew of PAT-25 about the conflicting traffic on approach and circling to land for runway 33. Both times the crew of PAT-25 reported that they had the traffic in sight and requested to maintain visual separation. The controller approved the request both times. Pat 25, traffic just south of Wilson Bridge is CRJ at 1,200 feet, start from runway 33. Mr. Separation. Mr. Roof. American 16 third tower, runway 1, lot boy, traffic throughout, start from runway 33, this traffic on 6 mile funnel. Lot up runway 1, runway 1, American 1630. Tower, Muscle, approaching Springfield, request around the street, two bucks after runway 1. Most of us stand by. Wish you 5307. Keep rolling out to November, ground 47. Good day. November, 307. National College of Evening Air Care, one for the second battle back. American 16, third to one star, 320 at 14, gust 2-5. Traffic 2 mile left base from Ray 33. No delay, runway 1, clear for immediate takeoff. Number 1, clear for takeoff, American 1630. Muscle 7 is request. And Muscle 7 is request to Route 3 to Zone 6. Muscle 7, you say Route 3 to Zone 6? Hey, sir, Muscle 7. Muscle 7 approved. Medivac Air Care 1, Washington Tower, National Altimeter 2, Nonner, Nonner 0. Approved through Washington Class, Rob Rivers, Space, Portland, Sherry, Fairfax. 2, Nonner, 2, Nonner, Nonner 0, for Air Care 1, copy. Pat 2, 5, do you have a CRJ in sight? Pat 2, 5, pass behind the CRJ. This club has an aircraft in sight, Chris, in separation. Mr. Separation.
The following video shows the airplane and helicopter leading up to the point of collision. The video was recorded by a camera located near the approach end of runway 33 at DCA oriented to the south. The video shows the night lighting conditions and the appearance of the aircraft lights against the cultural lighting of the city. Aircraft lined up on approach to DCA can be seen in the right corner of the screen. The flashing lights identify the touchdown zone of runway 33's landing threshold. Flight 5342 is visible in the upper left corner as it approaches runway 33. PAT-25 appears from the left side of the screen moving to the right as the two aircraft cross flight paths. This concludes the animation.